Um, oh. People are already... What, two people already left the group? Just a bunch of breaking yeah. bitches. Oh, I'm going to stand back here. Um, I know you're more of a caster, but like... Here, let's just go sit at our pylon. Cool. Cool with me. I mean, all I need is one for the daily, so... Well, you'll get your one. Oh, wait, is that... Oh. I'm not freaking going over there. Screw that shit. I can't believe this hasn't shut down. Oh. Hey, brute. <laughs> He's not going to be able to kill us. Maybe. I seriously doubt it. It's usually on times like this where I hop back on his channel and yell at him some more, but I'm not going to do that because my head hurts. Yeah, but I wonder if that's by choice or by... Or if he got told to. It just... It just <laughs> sickens me that people won't take care of their dogs and cats. <laughs> well, it's just like my brother. My brother didn't want to get his dog fixed either, but at least he actually set a date and was going to commit to that date. You know, some... Some people want their dogs to live to a certain age, so they grow a certain weight and size and stuff before they get their dog fixed, but other people just, I guess for lack of better words, just don't have the balls to get their dog fixed. It's like, get your effing dog fixed. They get out for one oh, I know. second, and they go fuck another dog that, yeah. isn't, that isn't fixed. That didn't get, I know. And all of a sudden the they world's got eight more problems on their Oh yeah, eight more problems on their hand, eight more homes that you have to find, eight more people that probably didn't want one and they don't die nearly as fast as they freaking breed which is like by Mr. design freaking people don't get their cats fixed just pisses me off price, price, right? Bob Barker oh yeah exactly you should it's just part of but see humans I mean they can't handle one no shit brute you bitch They're very selfish. They're fucking selfish. They are. They can't handle. They can't handle their shit. They want to have nice things. They want to have nice, cute things. But they grow up, and then they can't take care of their shit. And you had selfish friends that gave uh -oh. us a pregnant cat. Oh yeah. That ended up having three babies, and we two and a half. Two and a half babies. So you dare talk about poor little Ringo like that? Well, there was some. She had some leftover skill points and had half a cat. And I love him, but he's half a cat. And he's gonna probably come up here and somersault all my shit down on the floor again about five times later, but... Love him anyway, but... The problem is, is we're just living on a planet full of pathetic people who can't get their shit together. And they have to be babysat and coddled and held and hugged and just can't take care of their shit. It's like that freaking kid that was on chat earlier. It's like you can't sit and self-reflect and pull your shit together. You gotta freak out on everybody else. Because nobody, like, probably still living at your mom's house. Don't pay for anything. Everybody telling you how good of a job you do even though you don't do shit. You don't work. Just freaking cry all day and expect everybody to wrap their lives around you like the freaking idiot that was parked in traffic at a green light tired of babysitting everybody yeah exactly yeah Exactly. And as we're talking to him, telling us that we don't talk to him. It's like, what What else do you want? Do you want us to come over to your house and watch you do shit all day or something? It's like, you don't... They have no concept of 
the shit, what is that word? They only have concept of the I, they don't have the concept of the of the you. They have no empathy. They only care about how they feel. There's a word for that, and it's not it's not um Shit, I can't think of the word. I've been forgetting a lot of words lately. Sociopath. It's not a sociopath. It's You are so lucky. Oh They burned you down, I'm sorry. Assholes. This is why we don't have nice things. Because of our nine cats? No, because of dickhead PvPers. They don't like that person in chat today. He did not believe on an, any any fundamental level that we actually had our own feeling feelings and opinions and in his mind, we only existed to entertain him and to do what he wants. And that's why they make toys. They make toys. So people like that can boss their toys around. Or whatever. I boss you around. I know. You're my toy. I'm your boy toy. No, you're my man toy. I'm your man toy because you want to go to Starbucks and ask for... What would you like today? Never mind. I want something hard. I want something hard in my mocha. And I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure. Next time you say I want something difficult. I, but I'm simple. Oh. I know. That's okay. But just imagine if everybody was just completely helpless. It's not. I don't. I don't think it's that hard to imagine anymore. I mean, we're, that's why they call this the nanny country now. That's why they call it that. Well, they call it nanny state, but you might as well call it nanny, nanny country. Nanny as a person that looks over you. Yeah, friggin' babysitter. I'm living Any a... babysitters? No, but. We are the babysitters for everybody well, else. We're it's, the babysitters. Yeah, we're the freaking duh. duh, I know. Duh. Fucking fighting everybody's fucking war for them. Well, we fight everybody's wars for them because we won't freaking hand them M16s, which is like what we should do. <laughs> the freaking um in Africa, that group of psychopaths wiped out like four towns in the last couple days and they have no they have nothing to defend themselves they said they killed yeah they're on a freaking rampage they wiped out like four towns in the last couple days no they're they're being worse they're and i don't mind fighting wars for people like that but yeah. We need to arm them. Right now they've got freaking slingshots and pointy sticks and guns made out of pipes that they found on the ground and shit. And they're fighting people with AK-47s. But but then you look at home and we're just freaking nanny state. Everybody on every government aid known to man. Living with their parents, bitching about wanting minimum wage raise, and they okay, won't America, do shit. I'm gonna quote something. America okay. Is the greatest fucking com country ever. You almost said company, right? But okay. No, I almost said cunt. Oh, okay. Um, That's okay. But sometimes we have to slap people around. Exactly. Okay. You gotta learn a harsh lesson. If we don't like what you're doing, we're gonna throw through. A few bombs at you. Okay? That's right. A couple, a couple of missiles in your window. And then we'll apologize for it later. Yeah. <laughs> well, just remember. Here's here's something that I remember. 
I can't remember, like, who said it or whatever, but people bitch about drone strikes and they bitch about Tomahawk missiles. But you look like 40 years ago, we used to carpet bomb whole entire cities full of people to hit to hit a couple people. What's carpet bomb? It's when like B2 flies by and opens up the doors and drops its whole entire ordinance on a city. This would mean like what what like Nagasaki and stuff like that? No. That's a little bit that's like the next that's like the next step up. But you go watch World War Two videos of when B twos would fly over a town and yeah. Yeah, they looked like jumbo jets, except they were green. Mm-hmm. You know, we've we've come a long way in our in our in our wars. We don't do shit like that anymore, even though we could. But people still bitch. They don't they don't want to fight. People don't want to fight wars anymore, but they still want to be free. But they want everybody to take care of them. But they want everybody else to pay for it. And they say they're not represented, but they won't vote. It's just a huge ass nanny state, and then you get these little bitchy, whiny kids that want everyone to entertain them. And it's the same thing in PvP. They want you to queue, but then they beat the shit out of you. And then they want you to queue again, and then they yell at you for not queuing. It's the same thing. We only exist to entertain people. Which is why I keep asking myself why I do these damn videos. We got the freaking. Oh God, we got. <laughs> yeah, brute's gonna flip. So there's the mule. There's Rex. Hey Rex. This is great. So there's Suhara, the the wonder, the wonder boy. <laughs> That's funny. Herself the oh my gosh. And then she backed out like a truck. She did? She went beep, 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 yeah. beep, beep. That's true. Right on. Yeehaw, I got an orb. Oh my gosh. I will watch you and make sure you get over there, okay? Yay, you got there, okay. I'm sure they're going to double cap, though, because... Oh, yeah. They just can't... Can't contain themselves. I think they're just really badasses. And instead of setting up ranked, they're going to beat the crap out of everybody. I'm going to watch... Uh, give, give the drums. Cool and enjoy. We could. Ask, do you mind Rex or? Because sometimes he's all right, right. He doesn't give me a hard time. Rex and Shink. 
Rex and Shink don't give me a hard time. Although, let me check my ignore list just to make sure. Yeah. Rex and Shink don't give me a hard time. It's Juhara that never shuts his damn mouth. About how much... Well, well heck, maybe uh, they want to set up ranked. No, fuck that. There's no... No, not Zuhara. no he'll, he's grouped with them. They're grouped together. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. There's no way in hell I'm going to group... Uh, set up a team against him. Uh, not only will we lose every match... Against, I, I was thinking, like, maybe Rex and us on the same team. No, 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 no. No, they wouldn't do that. If If there's a ranked... They will group with their own people before they will group with anybody else. They're really, really anal like that. I, I've had them in my ranked group before. And they will literally drop the group just so they can grab their own people. Because they would rather stomp everybody and guarantee their victories and play as a guild than they would... Making sure everybody else, everybody can enjoy Arena. And Zuhara is the same way. And if you look, Zuhara and Shink are actually in the same guild. Whereas Rex and Lemuel are in Grimm. But if we set up a group, they would group together. Because they, uh... Yeah, that makes they, more sense. But I didn't know that Zuhara and them... I thought maybe Rex and Lemuel were just on their own. No. That would have been, I mean, I would have been fine. I don't know if you would be fine doing that with them, but theoretically. Oh, yeah, and, and I've, I've grouped with Grimm before. The problem is, is they just throw you to the curb the second their own people are on. Because even if you set it up, they'll, um, oh, cool. I'm just going to let them take the pile on. Oh, we got people back here. Yeah, I know. I'm just gonna let him take it, but oh, because they haven't even scored one time. That means they're not even gonna get. They're not even gonna get points or medals or anything. But oh well. In fact, I only have one medal, so. Really, this match is completely pointless. And that's something, again, that Zuhar is too stupid to understand, and the rest of Grimm's too stupid to understand, that when they stomp like this, nobody wants to play, and nobody gets any points. So they just won and destroyed everybody for absolutely no reason. Just solely to win. That's all... They, they want to win, and they don't care about anything else. They don't care about the community at all. And that's the biggest reason why I won't join their damn guild, because they don't give a shit. They only care about themselves. Whoop-de-doo, guys! You killed a bunch of pubs that nobody knows. Congratulations. Give yourselves a give yourself a big pat on the back, you pieces of shit. Now can we do something else? Huh. I was just thinking. Oh, the round is over. Place your bets. <laughs> okay. For the 
audience watching, uh, this is ranked, by the way. It would be Ooh, super... Woo, ranked! It'd be super cool if they put little gold frilly or something around the UI. But... strategy or we got a lot of pulls so they don't have many hunts yeah we'll try bridge first and then we'll try and we'll do both maybe bridge and then we jump off and pull them off or is that getting too complex that's it would be cool if we actually had oh there's rage Oh my gosh, my rotation. I forgot my rotation. Blah. Blah. It's gonna be. It's gonna be like this, unfortunately. Well, it's tough without a healer. It is. It is tough without a healer. Let's, uh, you and I, we did pretty good damage, so let's focus on one person and see if that helps. I was trying to burn down Kalpa, but, I or Chica. Yeah. I was on Chica. <laughs> Next round's about to start. Ready, set, go I hate ready checks, they give me freaking anxiety. Just let me know who you target. Um, hold on. Chica. Ah, I can't even damage him. Blah. They out damage us by just a little bit, but the heals. Yeah. The heals are what does it. Hmm. If I could vote, Ch we should probably uh, specify some kind of battle order for our comrades. I'm your deathmaster, Baron Deathmar. Two teams have been assembled in a room. Let's see. Who do we want to attack first? It's going to be really hard. It's going to be really hard.
It's one of the stealthers. <laughs> it can still backstab you if you're on a wall. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. <clears throat> what if we put our backs to each other? Yell. Will that will that work? Well, then they stab us both. Just, right <laughs> just run it right through. <laughs> that sucks. All right, I see. I see three of them, which means. There's a feral. Stay with her a little bit. Uh, who? Oh. There they are. Oh my gosh. Hey, it's Kiri. Hey. Trying to do, desperately trying to do ranked PvP. Nice. Let's see. Sis Sorceress can't invis. I guess she wasn't able to get her bubble off or something. We should attack first. We tried to attack first. They freaking invised. They invised right when we were about to engage. So let's, let's try to yeah. I mean, let's go a little faster. Okay. Time for Baron Deathmark to shut up. Gosh darn it. Friggin' perma stun the whole entire time. Oh my gosh, I was so close! Nope. No luck. Too bad I couldn't actually attack Lusum at all. Just like stun the entire time. Dailies. I'm your deathmaster, Baron Deathmark. Two teams have been assembled at random. Rodberg and Rogar. Oh, it actually says Lucium's a healer this time. I wonder if they respect. Once you're down, you're out. And uh, Laura was off healing. Who will be the winner? Who will be right. the winner? Roar was off healing. Should I DPS her first? Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna try to get Lucium. Uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna. Ah, that Lucium's so slippery, though. Well, that's why I'll chase him around and hopefully prevent some of their heals. Okay, and then Curry and I on Laura. Yeah. Yes, no shit, you have to pay attention more. That's what I was trying to tell you earlier. Alright, bitches. Wait. I went for the wrong person. Well, I had Rora locked and then it, it switched me all of a sudden for 
no reason. Yeah, I, I hate that. Drives me crazy. Alright, I got Lucy in red line. Or half life, I mean. Shit. What happened? Bastards. Bring it, hippies. Bring it. <laughs> Healers running for their life. <laughs> Blah. I don't even know how I died. Yeah. Don't worry about it. We are... I'm not... We are not giving two shits about what happens as long as it's not a stomp group. Oh yeah. So I almost got Lucian. I gotta spam my uh, sonic missile a little better. I did it, but too late. Yeah, me too. Um, just keep helping Kirihi. I can get Lucian by myself if the targets don't switch. Come on, bitches! Come on, bitch! Nope. There you are. No. Well, they saved the best for last. God. They they only did a little bit more than us on damage, but they did twice as much as us on heals from Lucium. So maybe I do need one more person to help me shut Lucium down. Oh yeah? Are they like in that stealth net or whatever? No. I think... I think on this arena... I think you're just a little too far away. But anyway, we're gonna go after Lucium. But he's gonna be stealthed. Alright, I'll spam AOEs until he comes out. Okay. I'm going to uh, hold Zedek in front of me and then run into them. Ah, Zedek. Haven't seen him in a long time. He uh he took like over a month off to go travel the world and. Whatever, find himself or something. That could but, be awesome, or that could be really great or terrible. <laughs> well, it's it's. You may not like what you find. Well, <laughs> or you may not like what you come back to. True, true. I mean, sooner or later, I'm gonna have to go back to work as soon as they figure out what to do, and it's gonna be. A disaster, and they're gonna go like, "Well, how was your vacation?" I'm like, "Listen, asshole, it was not a vacation." And second of all, it looks like you effed everything up. Uh, there's Lucem.
Nope, still can't burn him down, huh? What? What'd you notice? I think they're they might be double guarding. Really? Or some kind of shit with that shadow. At least the shadow's probably throwing taunts. Mm-hmm. So maybe we just go after the tank. Okay. They kinda won't expect that. Here's your chance to do it again. I almost whispered it to their team. But yes, I agree. Yell, sorry. I had to make sure I didn't whisper it to their team. Because I was doing like half damage. Alright, I'm on him. Well, that was definitely fun. And we did get him down to half-life. Blah. Yeah, somebody out there can take my entire life, half of my entire life, 50% in one hit. Yeah. Who is that? Well, it's either Laura or Evo. But look at the protection that Ethereal did. 80,000. Now, on that second match, no, he took... Uh, 10,000. I'm looking at overall. I'm, okay, there's a point to this. Oh, on, okay. on rank 1, round 1, he took 80,000. On rank 2, he basically did like nothing. So they had almost no damage mitigation if we do that. So, yeah, I noticed my attacks were doing like half as much damage as they should have been against that. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll see how it. It's always hard to say. So, what's the net defense increase? 4%? Or is it. I increased my damage reduction by 5%. Okay. So it's now at like 32.5%. Okay. So I'll be a little tankier. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to say that I don't miss being AP with tank gear, just that never did damage. What are you saying? Oh, okay. Alright. Hopefully we can burn down F. That's really the only hope we have. If this was the uh, bridge one, we could separate them all. But, uh... Okay, here they come.
Oh no. I need to put my stuff on cooldowns like I have throttle. There we go. Okay. Oh my gosh, we have a ethereal. Um, never mind. <laughs> that was actually really close. There's running in circles so much, though. I think the two healers are just might be impossible to overcome. That definitely removes his ability to do protection, but it allows... Actually, Lucium's still the one doing the most heals. I don't know. I don't know if we can beat him. Thing drives me nuts. Yeah, the little itty bitty. Plateau? Uh... Mesa, I guess. It's like a teeny tiny... Mesa. So Laura. E yes. I just want to like get a bulldozer or like a steamroller or something or a smasher machine and just squish it down so it's flat. And then we can have a nice smooth PvP area. Yeah. So we're gonna fight under. Uh. Yeah, they've got knockbacks. Yep. They've got three. Juggernaut has force push. Yeah. Just gotta make sure I don't send it to the other team. Yeah, I like your idea because the guard is gonna be on the healer. And we keep doing the same variants of the same tactic. And so I think I think this is gonna be good. Alright, he is cogged. Whoa, what the hell? Where's the rest of them? They're there. 
Where's uh? Shit! What the hell? I I can't. I couldn't see the cog. I'm sorry. There's got to be a better. Icon. That frog dog is soggy kibble. Rodwards rack up a score. That frog dog is. Okay, I think, I think this plan can still work. I just, I made them the flame, so hopefully I can find them easier. That was weird, the way they trickled in, we didn't get under the bridge all the way. We're still calling for Lorna, right? Yep. We yeah. Lore, I think. Yep, I made him the. F no, I think it's a good idea. Cause uh, Evo can just stealth around and. Alright. But I gotta stay close to Zedek so he so I get the guard. Oh yeah. Son of a bitch. Where the fuck are there? Jeez. It switched targets on me. Wow, they actually did double damage that time than they normally do. They both did a consistent 100k the entire time. That's nuts. Is that it got healed them, though? Both times. Anyway, attacking their healer is not going to do anything. We already tried that. He just... I think it's because he wasn't in our group when we were trying to kill the healer the first time.
Oh my gosh. Okay, I will try the healer, but you guys provided we can actually find them and stay on target. I think the reason why we lasted so long that round is because I kept pulling pulling them away. Fucking longest stuns of my damn life. That was stupid because they did two, two ten second stuns on me. Really, 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 really irritating. Fucking resolve was so broken. Useless piece of shit. So y'all, your protection did amazing. You actually up protected them. Yay! But they out damaged us even more than they did last game. Somehow. Well, I did no damage. <laughs> yeah, and their healer actually out healed Zedek that time. Yeah, they've got. I mean, they've got a real tank so that we're not doing much damage to the healer and a real good healer. Yeah. And then their damage is good too. 